At Rainbow Mealworms, we grow all our insects 100% naturally so that you get the freshest, most lively feeders on the market. So for all your reptile food needs, place your order today at rainbowmealworms.net. Hey, what's up, Rattlers? So I'm with Emily from Snake Discovery, and right now we are in southeast Minnesota in the river bluffs of the Mississippi River. 17 species of snakes are native to Minnesota. Most of them are found right here in the Blufflands, and one of those is the timber rattlesnake. So we're gonna go climb some thousand foot bluffs and see if we can get Emily her lifer timber rattlesnake. I'm Dave Kaufman and I am obsessed with reptiles and I have been since I was nine years old. 25 years later, I made a trilogy of award-winning movies about them. Now my life is all about touring the world in search of them in wild places and checking out some of the most awesome breeding facilities and reptile expos while I'm at it. So come with me and join my reptile adventures. All right, so Emily forgot her belt, so the IT husband is going to make making a little do. wire belt for her. <laughs> oh, that works. And, and tape for a belt buckle? I might I might tape this together here. Yeah, I don't have any. Oh, that You'll is too to funny. Tape, but... I don't want it to be too tight if I'm walking well, around, yeah, but just... I think we should cut this right, off because right. that's really bulky. <laughs> All right. Take care of that. Oh. Yeah, there you go. Can you get that? Um, oh, no, because you have to slide it in. Yeah. Oh yeah, I can. Okay. God, that is hysterical. Yes. <laughs> the Next. belt is made. Snake. All right. Little the garter first snake. snake of the day. Little did you feisty move guy. That little he eastern garter snake. Yeah. Well, he wasn't under the actual. He was actually sitting over here, oh, and he took so off that sassy. way. Yeah, you just pounced and got him. Yeah, nice. he was on his way under this pile of logs oh, over yeah. here. You know, it's the garter snake that keeps herpers from getting skunked. Yep. It always comes to save the day. Cutie. He is. And ironically, they Good smell looking. skunky. And they smell skunky. Sure do. Very hey, nice. Buddy. This guy, he's Aww. a little dull. He's going to shed here pretty soon. Mm -hmm. um, even though his eyes aren't milky, he's still pretty dull. Oh, you're funny. And He's oh, got like the mint green between the scales here. Mm -hmm. If you look like when he breathes and stuff, you can see that mint green really oh, yeah. pretty on some of them. Rick looks scared. He's looking away. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> if you put him like there, it'd be like, oh. hey, Morty, I, I don't like snakes. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah. oh, awesome. All right. Snake. First Good snake of the day. That's awesome. <laughs> Oh, there are so many mosquitoes. So you take this cedar and you rub it on your legs like this. Just like that. And that's a, a natural mosquito repellent. So get the cedars, rub it on you. Natural mosquito repellent. All right, on we go. All right, so it is really tough climbing these bluffs. It is so humid out and I'm so sweaty and there's bugs all over me. There's mosquitoes and biting flies, but man, this is gonna pay off as soon as we get up there, but guys, everybody's lost but me. Uh, thorny raspberry bushes and shorts. My legs are not going to win any beauty contests after this trek. All right, Emily, Whew. we made it. Thank you so much for the piggyback up here. <laughs> <laughs>
I need some uh, extra sustenance yeah. afterwards. So yeah. I'm yeah. Picking at these raspberries. Yeah, yeah. Look at that. They're delicious. Woo. All right, let's go find some well, timbers. I'm done with my workout for Yeah, yeah, I'm well rested, so let's go <laughs> down there and find some timbers. All right, so you can see where the grass is matted down here, and this is where a timber probably stayed for a little bit and sunned himself. And then over here, we can see the matted down grass here and here, and matted down grass right at the base of this rock. So they've been here today, and they've been sunning themselves. So they're around. They are around, so. It's a matter of finding where they are now. Exactly. And if they are around, it's not too hot up here, so they're gonna be around. We just gotta occupy the same place at the same time and. Yeah, hope all the stars are aligned. Well, we gotta go down this way. This is where um, we're headed. Yeah, so we're gonna go down the bluff now this way, and getting down is always easier than getting up. So it's hopefully. Nice open we'll, field. Yeah, so. Oh. These little rocky outcroppings here, hopefully, are going to do the trick. Ooh, 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 piece of candy. Ooh, piece of candy. So what I do is I just kind of. Got another rocky outcrop here. I actually step on the rocks themselves because the timbers are going to be at the base in the grass. So I never walk on the grass below. I always use this, the rocks as a stepping stone because I know that they're not going to be sitting on top of the rocks. And then you just look down before you take the next step. Makes sense. We got a timber. Oh, yeah. It's gonna fall down the bluff going for it. Fantastic. Be look careful, at that there might beauty. Be around here, so All right. Oh man, look at how velvet she is. That is a good looking timber. Wow, she's beautiful. That is gorgeous. She's a good size too. So he was here in this, there's a big timber shed here. Yeah. That's fresh. Yep. So he was coiled right here so, under this rock here. So be very so careful where right you walk. Here. She was coiled up right there. Right here, okay. Yeah. Oh, that's gorgeous. Now she, so she's a gravid female and she's out here stunning herself. Um, and you could tell by the way she kind of carries down here. See how fat she is with the separation of the scales. Anyway, she's out here getting some sun. Uh, cooking those embryos as much as she can before she'll drop and usually these guys give birth in our area anyway um, right around uh, the first part of September so this time of year in late June all of the timber rattlesnakes that are still going to be up here on these bluffs on the top of these bluffs that we just climbed they're either going to be gravid females that are going to stay up here for the summer and have their brood in late September as Jeff said or they're going to be just a couple of straggler males that didn't go down into the forest so most males and most females that aren't gravid or pregnant they get off the top of this bluff and they go down in the forest valley behind me but this is a gravid female and so that's why we came up here. If we went down to the valley to try to find these guys, it would literally be like finding a needle in a haystack. We just wouldn't see anything. But we know that in this scenario, we're at least gonna find gravid or pregnant females. And that's what we just did right here. So a lot of people think that, you know, the mothers give birth to the young and then just go off on their way and don't give any parental care to the baby snakes. But studies have proven that that's not necessarily true. What's happening is that the mother is laying a scent highway, a scent trail to a food source and that the babies, once they've had their first shed, after about a week and they've absorbed all that yolk in their bellies, they follow that super highway, that scent trail that the mother left down to a food source so that they can have their first meal. And what they do after that is that they all come back up here together, the males, the females, and the babies, and they'll hibernate in these bluffs up here. It's kind of really interesting how these snakes take care of their young. So everyone knows that a rattlesnake is different from other snakes because they were smart enough to evolve a rattle. And what that rattle is and what its purpose is, is to scare off all the big bovine animals that used to wander around this area, like bison for instance. But what a lot of people don't know is that the rattle is actually made out of the same stuff that your fingernails are made out of. And a neat thing is when uh, the rattlesnakes are first born, they have a single segment called a button at the end of their tail, and every time they shed thereafter, they add another segment. But that rattle breaks off, so there's no way to really tell the age of a rattlesnake based on how long or how short that rattle is. 
because as they grow a new button with every shed, the end one breaks off because they hit it on rocks or scrape it on trees or whatever. All right, Rattler, so this is where it gets really kind of hairy and kind of dangerous. So the rattlesnake is right in front of me. My camera is set up, my other camera is set up, but check this out. There's my anchor foot right there. And can you guys see that? That's about a thousand feet down. But because of this rock wall right here, if she comes at me, I got to go that way and that's a thousand feet down, but this is all part of the adventure. This is all part of filming these amazing snakes in the wild. This is awesome. All right, so I got my shots and I'm going to walk. Oh, geez. I got to walk along this cliff face here. Oh, all right. That was really, really dangerous, but there's no way I was going to have Emily or Jeff over there because that's too dangerous. I gave them the better spots to film this snake and I took the dangerous spot. Oh man, this is the adventure that I love so much. Woo! Minnesota timber rattlesnakes. Awesome. All right. I've got to get off this bluff. All right, so your life for timber. How awesome was that? Would you say that that was a really good snake discovery? I would say it was a wonderful snake discovery. <laughs> All right, so what we're going to do from here is we're going to go down the bluff. And getting down is so much easier than coming back up. But, you know, we are literally, we're in the sky right now. I mean, we are literally about a thousand feet above the surface right now. Not exaggerating, we really are up there, so. Look at this. Yeah, yeah. This so, is what we're going down next. So yeah, we are going straight down. I mean, you really can't get the perspective, but man, this is this is going to be tough. It was worth it. But it was worth it. We, you got your life or timber, so it's worth yes. it. If we fall to our deaths now, yeah. it will be worth it, right? Worth it. Well, no? Well, what? Whew, what a day. Oh, all right, Rattlers, it has been a day. Climbing a couple of thousand foot bluffs in almost Man. 90 degree heat and almost what 90 to 100 percent humidity and the bugs oh and the bugs and oh, the thorny vines with the thorns and the and the 100 percent chance of pain <laughs> i think i ate five i just did one right now <laughs> protein <laughs> anyway guys we are gonna go clean ourselves up and mend to our many wounds so until the next adventure love the planet feed your reptile obsession and, and rattle on, on.